Welcome back to the channel everybody. I'm Trevor with Maker Experiment and in today's video I'm going to be showing you something in the epilogue dashboard for color mapping. So let's get into it. This is going to be a pretty short video because I just want to show you a tip when it comes to the epilogue dashboard. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this multicolored job and send it over to my dashboard. Now, when the dashboard comes up, you're going to see that by default, it's going to come in as one single process. So if you look over here to the right, you'll see that it has all of the colors mixed together. Uh, all of them are going to be set to the same settings. If you get this and you're wondering how you can split it by color, the first default thing to do is you'll have an option right below the job preview that says split by and you can choose color. So if I click on color, you'll see that it splits it up into all of the different colors that I have within the job. You might be asking yourself, well, this is cool and all, but that's kind of tedious if I have to do that every single time I send a new job because if I go back and I print it again from Illustrator, it comes back in and the default is not split again. So I'd have to go in and split it every single time. The cool thing is, if you didn't know this, there's a setting. So if you go up here to the top right to epilogue settings and you go into the dashboard tab, you'll see where it says new job settings. The default is split by hairlines. If I click that, you can have the default be split by color, hairline, or color and hairline. So if I click the color and hairline, which is the one that I use personally, and hit close, and then close the dashboard, the next time I print to the dashboard, you will see that it automatically splits everything for me and I don't have to click that button. Now, this is a personal preference. I like to do mine split by color all the time. Some people like to do it by hairline. It definitely depends on the types of jobs you do and how you design. But to me, this is one of the most useful defaults that you can set if you use a lot of different colors and you wanna be able to split by those colors. That's gonna do it for this video. Again, super short. I'm going to actually look at coming out with some shorter videos as well. They give some of these quick tips. So if you have any questions about things in the dashboard or the job manager for Epilogue Machinery, put them in the comments below. If you have ideas for short videos I can create, put those in the comments below too. But I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications so that you know when I come out with new videos. Check out my Instagram at Maker Experiments. And that's gonna do it. See you in the next one.